Zach, thank you. Fox Carolina is committed to you, and that's why we are continuing to follow up on changes being made to the 85 widening project in the Cherokee County area. Now, uh, the state secretary of transportation was out today surveying the current chute system as they prepare to make some major changes to that area. All of this happening after a deadly crash involving an 18 wheeler that killed three people last week. It's a story that we have brought you every step of the way. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax sat down with the Cherokee County Administrator to get his reaction to what DOT is proposing. And he joins us live tonight along 85 in Gaffney. Yeah, good evening, Tori. The administrator put out multiple statements, and he's been very vocal since that crash. And so have many others here in the community saying that the current system is not working and is flat out dangerous to drivers. Want to show you some new things that have already taken shape here. You can see they've got some road close signs out. As SUDOT begins to make improvements, those improvements are going to be felt by commuters, though. You can see there's already some traffic buildup, a bunch of trucks. You see those brake lights in the distance right here. And SUDOT obviously out today. It has already begun. Cherokee County Administrator Steve Bratton says he's encouraged by the movement on the part of SCDOT in response to what he says is a huge problem. I advise my family do not get in that chute. Anybody that I talk to do not go through the chute. Bratton says that although the county can't do much because it's a state project, he felt the need to weigh in to get SCDOT to take action. For us to get to this point where we've had six deaths, in and around that chute. We just said enough is enough. Travelers we spoke to today agree. These roads been messed up. They should have been done something a long time ago. SCDOT was out on I-85 Thursday. The state secretary of transportation saying that driver error is also to blame here. DUIs, a lot of people speeding, a lot of people not paying attention and before this project even came along. So this roadway has been known for a while. Construction project I don't think helped that. You can argue whether it hurt it or not. It's hard to say. I can't sit here and tell you that we think the design is 100% to blame. Some of it's driver error, sure, but the, the design of the shoe obviously has some sort of a flaw that, that adds to that. So far, SCDOT has decreased the speed limit to 35 miles an hour and revealed they are planning to do away with at least the first five miles of the chute from exits 81 to 86. Bratton also says they don't want any trucks on the left-hand side at all. He says they're grateful for the widening itself, but want to avoid any more tragedy. Neighbors didn't hold back as much when asked about the changes. Too little, too late, but they need to go ahead and do it. Yeah, you can see out in the distance some of that traffic right there and all these trucks. SEDOT says it's about 40% trucks that drive through this chute on a daily basis with the many thousands of cars that the chute sees. Now, the chute is expected to be taken down in around 90 days. That is what SEDOT gave as an estimate. Bratton says he's encouraged by that because it's a lot shorter than the original six-month estimate they were given. The overall widening, though, still expected to take about another two years. Guys, back to you.